behind the camera. How are you doing? Real tired. We're here with Harry from Harry and the Guitar, who apparently took my Ormsby from my place and took it here, which is weird. Why did you steal my guitar, Harry? Because I always wanted a fan fret seven string. I know. In, in, in purple. In purple burst, yes. It's actually called Pur Pull. Purple. Pur Pull. Purple. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're here with uh, Loki. Is that like a stage name or your real name? It's actually my name. Yeah, actually my name. Actually your name. So, Loki has um, probably the pinkest metallic pedal I've ever seen. I mean, that's just stunning. Yeah, we aim for pink and sparkly. That was the goal. And that blue is also very stunning. Thank you. Thank you very much. But they're not two pedals in different, they're not the same pedal in different colors. They actually do different things. Yeah, so this is Digit and that's Bebo. So let's go over to the blue thing, Dave. And um, obviously, since they're touch screen, wait a second, we got it. Got to for the camera, we got to go and get this. Get the touch screen. We're going to mess it up in a second anyway, but so that the camera can get what is happening. Here we go. That's still bad. It's getting better. That's quite good. So um, we have an A, B, C probably presets, and then there's a D and an E. You can put that. You can make them anything you want, actually. So at the moment, there's nothing mapped to the to the switches because we haven't dropped them in, but they're actually control sources, so you can map anything you want. If you want to make the delay become infinite. You just connect up. You see how there's little numbers down here? Yeah. Yep, yep. They're, um, con they're how many controls something has, how many modulatable, if that's a word, parameters something has. So you just connect things up to that. I think we're skipping steps here. What is this? <laughs> so at the moment, confusingly, you see how it's got a pack pink background? You can run either firmware on either pedal. So this is currently that pedal. Ah, oh, thank you for making this an easy video. Yeah, anytime. Um, so that's why we've got this reverb here. So we jump into the one of the reverbs. We can, I will connect up this delay too. So we've got the delay. We'll just connect it. We can jump things to the outputs. Can connect them easy enough. And then if we jump into the reverb, we can show you a bunch of different reverbs. It's convolution reverb. Of course, convolution reverb. I mean, you know, it's a reverb and it's convoluted. I mean, it makes total sense. Yes, yeah, like, it's like impulse response, but for reverbs. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got real, real spaces. So you got lots of vintage analog gear in here. You got lots and lots of um, rack gear, like these Lexicon ones and the PCM 60s and etc. And you've got actual. Wait, wait a second. I got to interrupt. Convolution reverb takes a lot of processing. Yeah. yeah. So is there a lot of processing in there? Yeah. Thank you. Move on. <laughs> Quad core lots. Yeah. Yeah, lots and lots. Um, you can actually, there's a few presets here where I'm running multiple convolution reverbs at once and panning them between the, it's got four inputs and four outputs. So you can pan between that whole collection. So yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Four ins and four outs? Yeah. So double stereo. Yeah, quad. It's twice as good as stereo. Wow. Okay, moving on. Yep. So you can connect anything to anything. You just drop them in. Uh, you can... So this is the ad menu. These are all the different things you can drop in. Hold it for a second. I gotta check things on the camera. You go. Okay. So you can add things. You can drop anything in you want. Here we've got uh, lots. You know, you can have EQs. So maybe something we'll do. Maybe we can drop in an EQ first. Mono EQ. Have you got your volume down? Okay. So there we've got that. All right. But we can also route that EQ. So let's, instead of it going to the um, reverb directly, we'll disconnect the reverb from the in. And now we'll, we can drag that guy over there and connect up the EQ first and then send that to the reverb. And then if we go into it, we've got our full parametric EQ. We can shelve out all the bottom. And the reverb's a lot less boomy now. You can also control Q, so you can have that like that. Full, flexible, all the things. So that's the bit of EQ on that. And then we can drag that guy somewhere sensible. There we go. All right. 
can send in more delays and drop in. You can add in lots and lots of stuff. And I can I can show some other more complicated presets if we want. Go for it. I want to see, like, you know, how much can you load up into that thing? So we got primary delays and reverbs in this one? Yeah, delays, reverbs, and random other stuff. Um, but this one is now the other one. Yes. So the, I will make it the other one in a bit too. So the pink one is actually the reverb. Yes. Not confusing at all, okay? I try and make things straightforward. That's the whole goal is to be making it easy to use and easy to film. So this one is called Swell Stop and it's a big ambient thing and you can see there's lots going on. There's multiple re stereo reverbs, there's reverses, there's delays, there's freezes, there's an LFO modulating the delay, there's an auto swell and there's a turntable stop. But we just turntable stopped it, if you heard that. Ah. I can't hear anything over here. I trust that it's good. You heard. Cool. That's why I go for the obvious ones. <laughs> so yeah, it can kind of get big and ambient and swelly if you want, but we can pull back some of those things. So you see I can move things on the touchscreen, but once you touch something, you can also... This I like that. Fine. This one's always, this one's coarse and this one's fine. You just touch anything you want and then it becomes the knobs. Map straight away to the knobs, just so it's really easy to get to everything. And the idea is everything's meant to be kind of easy to route, move around, and flexible. So I can show you some more of the things in here. Uh, I'll show you full reverse, because everybody likes that. Uh, oh, that's an ad. Let's load another preset. We'll grab a CD for full reverse. You probably know what this one's going to be. So full wet, reverse. Just full reverse and it, it does full reverse. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. You see how it starts to become tremolo when I cut the fragment length down? You get those really short reverse sections. I can show you a little bit of the new pedal of Bebo as well. I'll just switch, I can just change back to the other firmware. Now it's a blue pedal and we can grab a rotary. Because truthfully, everybody likes the rotary. I'm very picky about rotary. Impress me. So the rotary is all physically modeled. So it actually models the, the weight of all the parts and how quickly they accelerate. It, it can stop at different parts of the cabinet and that'll affect how it sounds. This is a basic one that's got five parameters. There's also a 26 parameter one if you want to be too complicated. Uh, so. turn off some of the motors and then we can turn more of them on we might crank that home level up a little bit is there a drive parameter because it's very clean we can do things like that too um, you want a thing we can have a thing yeah, it, it, we're not, our big focus isn't on things like distortions and stuff like that. So the way there is things like... We've but a rotary has kind of distortion built in usually. Yeah, yeah. so this one does have some of that. Um, we can also do a few other things. We've got a uh, warmth, which is like tu some tube kind of style distortion or, or tape. You can blend between the two. And we've also got a kind of saturator, which is kind of tube tape compression kind of thing. We also have straight up actual compressors as well, the studio compre the stereo compressor and mono compressor. So we can start to add that stuff in if you want as well. So the blue one is modulation slash what else? Well, modulation and compression. So basically, yeah, chorus. I can show you a chorus if you want. You can load up. If you want some 80s chorus action. Yep, so it's kind of Jerno, Roland Jerno style chorus. This looks crazy, it's got MIDI in, MIDI out, it's got 
four inch, four outs, it's, uh, the size is not prohibitive to put it on any pedal board. The interface is ridiculously good, so you don't actually need a computer editor, which I don't see a DS USB. So that, is there an editor on a computer for it? No, but the USB is so you can, um, for this one, you can load up new reverbs and cabs, so you can just put them on a USB flash drive, and you can also import and export presets with the USB and update the firmware. But you don't need an editor because it's right here on your fingertips. I mean, it's of course made for the young'uns because it, everything is a little bit smaller. You know, and I'm an old fart, so I have to get a little bit closer and like, you know, then clean my glasses. But I love the interface. It looks so high tech. I have a little bit of experience with a slightly similar product that does the uh, free connections of blocks, uh, but only through like an HTML thing. And I just don't like that one because the, the programming of the individual boxes or blocks is kind of like open source. And you know, anyone that thinks they can program a, an algorithm goes for it. And there's a lot of crap out there. The thing is, making something open source can go wrong. So who's who is the genius behind all of this? Are you the face or the genius? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm the face or the genius, but I am the only person, so. I, uh, you do all the DSP? I, well, I, it's just me and the company, so I design the sheet metal, I solder the things, I stick the things together, I write the interface. I, you know, it's just me. So. But you told me the price of this, and it can't just be you making this all by you, you yourself. How much is it? It's three ninety nine Street US. <laughs> no, 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 no. How much is it? <laughs> you can pay more if you'd like. <laughs> three ninety nine Street. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, look at good. This guy has the best fashion sense of any builder in all of Nam. Look at this guy. Damn, is that an ascot? Look at this. Oh man. You know, you had a good one last year. I remember you had like this red, um, like the red pants and like this really like crushed velvety. But am I, is my brain going here? Did I have a stroke and I am remembering it different in my memory? Hey, nice to see you too. Oh my gosh, I like crushing your videos. No, no, yeah, it has to be. The thing is, you talk about his fashion sense. Talk about this. The guy's oh, yeah. nuts. Three ninety nine. Is that three ninety nine? Yeah. What is it? Is it a computer? Oh, can I play um, Angry Birds with it? Yes, you can. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is a full touchscreen interface. Just Modular. <laughs> pressing buttons down. <laughs> now you broke it. Now you bought it. I broke it. I screwed up all his presets. Nah, that was just Full yeah. multi-effect, reverb delay, everything, convolution. Really? Uh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Is there two players or is it just one player? Uh, four players. Four players. Yes, four inputs, four outputs, and you use convolution for IR, right? Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Yes. Yes. Have you used convolution reverb as well? I love. Who doesn't like convolution reverb, man? Yeah. So this has that. This has that on. So you can actually choose, you know, lots of different reverbs. We jump in our magical reverb editor. What do you own video about this? I just want to show you this. I know. Yeah. Look at that. Three ninety nine, dude. It's ridiculous. Three ninety nine reverbs. Oh, reverb. And if you want any of those, like. Please, I'm literally just crashing your video. I'm just like watching the. I know, I, you know, I like my 80s tones. All the stuff, you like that. Who doesn't? Yeah. It's oh ridiculous, God. and it's freaking pink. And it's pink. I like pink. Pink's my. Uh, it's my favorite color. Chair, it's right? Harry. I, 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 I'm a. Look at this guy. I'm a second chair clarinet. Right over here. See? Yeah. So you know, I've been working pretty hard. I figure, you know, it's my, you know, my first couple years, I got to earn my way. You know, she is, you know, like uh, Debbie is a fantastic first clarinet. But, you know, a couple years, pay my dues, I'll be able to take those lead lines. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. So watch yourself, Debbie. It's always about the oboe for me, but okay. You know, oboe beats your freaking clarinet. I'm not going to touch that, man. My oboe beats your clarinet. There it is. Get out of here. Signing off. Go. Bye. I love you, Harry. Come back. Hell yeah, man. I'll see you soon. So uh, we can stop this right here. 399, 399, freaking ridiculous. Load up your own stuff. Four ins, four outs, uh, amazing interface, presets, total controllability of five parameters. Uh, wow. So there is actually one minor change. So this one, this one's out now. Launched six months ago. But it's a totally different interface than it was with the new firmware that just came out. But this one is launching in a couple of months, and it's only got about a quarter of the modules. The ones you've seen so far, that's about a quarter of the ones that will be in here. So there's still a lot to come on this one, on Bebo. You're an insane man!
with an impeccable fashion sense, as Jay pointed out. Thank you. Um, okay, that is... F Look, I could only hear this at NAMM through Harry with a seven-string Ormsby with a tiny little amp. Um, so the thing is, uh, I want this in stereo in my studio blown up and actually check it out because if it sounds as good as I think it does looking at the interface and everything, that's ridiculous. Obviously, $399 is a direct price ordering direct from you, right? Or from any of our dealers, yeah. You can, you can keep that price going through a dealer. I'm making some poor choices. But no, no, yeah, yeah, no, you can get, yeah, so you can get it from us or Perfect Circuit or Anderton's or somebody like that. Look, Loki and I, we got to talk because I'm good friends with a couple of distributors who would be very interested in this. But once it hits a shop in Germany, going through the distributor, this isn't going to be $3.99. And you shouldn't pay $3.99 because he's got cats and dogs, 17 kids, you know, squirrels, goldfish, whatever. Australia, so we have kangaroos and koalas as well. Uh, spiders and all the crazy, crazy things that bite you. Um, you know, so uh, probably some shrimp. Spiders called Brian. Spiders called Brian. Ew. Um, so the thing is, once that actually hits the shop, for him to make any money, he can't do $3.99. Don't be fooled. We're gonna do $4.99, I think, and it makes total sense. And it's still a bargain. Any Maris, any Strymon, that's the price range. And this is multi-algorithm. So don't be an idiot and only pay $3.99. I'm gonna make sure they get more expensive. Sorry, okay? You're a freaking genius, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna talk to some of my buddies in the biz and see if we can get them into like, you know, some nice shops in Europe. But first, I wanna check it out because I don't wanna put my reputation on the line for something that sounds like, ah! you know, who knows. I'm very intrigued, very intrigued. We shall talk when the camera's off. Thanks, Harry, for standing there noodling on my guitar. Okay. Harry Holden, you've heard it first. <laughs> Thanks, Loki, I'm very impressed. You crazy, crazy motherfucker. Um, Harry, how do we end these videos? Can you say it? Wait, wait. Yes, or what? Well, I think the correct way to end the video is possibly with the turntable stop effect. We're gonna say it first and then do that. Okay. Say it. Are you ready? Hold on. Are you ready? Oh, I have to choose which one, which one we're using. I think the one, big one from before. Yeah, sorry. Yeah? Strum for a little bit. Animals at the ends. Till the sun goes out. Full moon, half pride. And empty bottles on the dance floor. Wish that I could understand more So I won't